Before NBA Youngboy released I Hate Youngboy and this to everyone in the industry, there would come a rapper who was hungry for the spotlight to be on him and he was down to take it. Brooklyn style. What's up everybody? Welcome to Hip Hop Biographics. And on this channel we cover hip hop legends, figures, and forgotten moments in hip hop. And today we're going to be discussing how 50 Cent dissed the entire industry. In the year 2000, 50 Cent was signed to Columbia Records. While signed to Columbia Records, 50 was recording his debut album, The Power of a Dollar, which would never come out because just a couple months before the album was due to be released, 50 would be shot nine times and subsequently dropped from Columbia Records for being too problematic. But before being dropped from his record label, 50 would release his debut single called How to Rob. And on this track, 50 will start the song by paying homage to Biggie and Tupac and telling everyone that this is just a joke, but to take it how you want it. 50 will start the first verse by telling everyone he's a crook with a deal, and if his records don't sell, he's robbing and stealing. Obviously, 50 wasn't trying to make any close friends in the industry. 50 will continue his verse by dissing famous hip hop acts such as P. Diddy and his longtime girlfriend, Kim Porter, telling Puff to dance his ass to the nearest ATM. 50 wouldn't just diss within hip hop. He will also go after R&B artists such as Whitney Houston, Brian McKnight, and Keith Sweat. 50 will go and diss a lot more celebrities such as Jay Z, Stevie J, Master P, Will Smith, and Jada Pinkett. They will not do that shit now. Dear Mitz and Kirk Franklin. 50 will even diss the people who produced the track, Tony Polk, saying he's been scheming on them since they found him. But everyone wasn't feeling the up and coming rapper's new single. Mariah Carey and her ex husband was mentioned as one of the attended victims of 50 robberies, with 50 saying, Our man handled Mariah like bitch get on the ground. You ain't with Tommy no more. Who gonna protect you now? Mariah Carey, who was signed to the same label as 50, threatened to leave the label if her name wasn't taken off the track. So when the official track was released, it was replaced with 50, talking about robbing Mary J. Blige's ex-husband instead. Mariah Carey wouldn't be the only person with a response to the track. Jay-Z would respond on his track, It's Hot, by saying, Go against Jigga, your ass is dense. I'm about a dollar, what the fuck is 50 cents? Jay-Z would go on to tell 50 that he liked the song though. Big Pun responded on his song My Turn with Pun saying, Get your nut off, cause in real life, I'll blow your head off. I guess Pun didn't take it as a joke. Not everyone will respond negatively. Wyclef Jen will respond on his track Low Income saying, He's so hungry, if 50 Cent came to rob him, he'll be part of his charity. But let me know what you guys think of 50 Cent How to Rob and go check it out on YouTube and leave a comment saying that I sent you. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.